Hello and welcome to my channel. I like crocheted snowflakes that have a contrasting finish, especially of this uh, grayish or lilac color that looks so wintry. And in this video, I am going to show you how to crochet one of those snowflakes. This snowflake is about 5 inches in diameter and I made it using the almost 2 millimeter hook and a cotton thread size 10. I used the same size cotton thread for the border but of a different color. This is gray lilac. We'll start working here in the center with a magic loop in which we'll make 12 double crochet stitches with chain two between them. To make a magic loop, hold the end of the thread like this, wrap it around two fingers and pull the second thread to front. Now, chain three, this is the first double crochet and chain two for separation. And we'll continue making double crochets, chain two, a double crochet, chain two, a double crochet, chain two, a double crochet, chain two it's easier to work when the loop is a little smaller a double crochet chain two i have made six now seven chain two eight chain two nine chain two, ten, chain two, eleven, chain two, and twelve, chain two, I'll close the loop and make a slip stitch in the third beginning chain. In round two, we'll be working in those chain two that we just made, and we are going to alternate groups of three single crochets made in chain two, and in the next chain two, two single crochets with chain 11 between them. Then once again, three single crochets, and then two single crochets with chain 11 between them. We'll start with a slip stitch to get in this chain two space. And um, then chain one instead of the first single crochet and two more single crochets. In next chain two, a single crochet, chain 11, six, nine, 11, and a single crochet in the same space in next chain two three single crochets and then a single crochet chain 11 six nine eleven and a single crochet Moving on, moving to the next space, making three single crochets. And in this space after that, a single crochet, chain 11, six, nine, 
11 and a single crochet and continue working like this please repeat it three more times at the end of the round make a slip stitch in the first beginning chain Now in chain 11, we'll make 7 double crochets, chain 5, and 7 double crochets. And between those groups, in 3 single crochets, we'll just make 1 single crochet in the middle one of 3. First, we'll make a slip stitch to get to this middle single crochet chain one instead of a single crochet and now in uh, this chain 11 seven double crochets two three four five six seven chain five and seven double crochets two three four five six Seven. Now just one single crochet here in the middle of this group of three. Now we'll start working in this chain eleven. Seven double crochets. seven double crochets three four five six seven one single crochet in the second single crochet seven double crochets four five six seven chain five and seven one two three four five six seven and a single crochet here in the middle and continue this pattern please at the end make a slip stitch in this first chain that we made before the first group of seven double crochets In round four, instead of seven stitches here, we'll be making six. We'll start with three single crochets 
chain two, three single crochets, chain two. Then in chain five, we'll make three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets. And then we'll repeat the same thing in the opposite direction. Chain two, three single crochets, chain two, three single crochets. So we'll start with a slip stitch to skip this first double crochet. Uh, we'll make chain one instead of the first single crochet and uh, two more. Chain two, three single crochets, one, two, three chain two in chain five three double crochets chain three three double crochets chain two three single crochets chain two and three single crochets now we'll skip the last double crochet we'll skip the single crochet and the first double crochet on this side and we'll continue with three single crochets on the other side chain two three single crochets chain two three double crochets chain three three double crochets chain two three single crochets chain two three single crochets skip three stitches one two three and in the fourth one start making three single crochets chain two three single crochets chain two three double chain three three double chain two three single chain two three single and then skip three stitches and continue working like this until the end of the round At the end, after three single crochets, make a slip stitch in the first chain that we made and cut off the thread. The last round will be mostly single crochet stitches. Instead of the first three, we'll make two single crochets, then in chain two, three single crochets, in three single crochets, three single, in chain two, three single crochets, in um, three double crochets, single crochets. The only change will be here 
where in chain three we'll make a single crochet a half double a double crochet a half double and a single crochet and then we'll continue these groups of three single crochets also in this round we'll make a loop hanger I cut off the white thread because I'm going to use different color for the border and I'm not going to start here where I finished the previous round because I don't want to deal with two ends of the thread at the same time. I'll start here because we are going to skip one of the single crochets here in the valley between the points of the snowflake. I'll start with the second one of these three. So I'll attach the thread and we'll make chain one instead of the first single crochet. Now, including this end of the thread in my work, I'll start making single crochets. So a single crochet in single, now in chain two, three single crochets. In the next three single crochets, I am making one single crochet in each. Three single crochets in next chain two. three single crochets in three double one two three i think that's enough for this thread and now in chain three a single a half double crochet which will start as a double crochet but pull the hook through all the threads and a double crochet, a regular one. Now a half double crochet and a single crochet. Now three single crochets in double. Three single crochets in chain two. We are working in groups of three here, three single crochets in single crochets, three single crochets in chain two. But here, instead of three, we'll make two single crochets, we'll skip two and we'll make two on the, the other side. And we'll continue with groups of three, three in chain two, three in single crochets, three in chain two, three in double crochets, and now I'm going to make a loop hanger. If you do not want a loop hanger for the snowflake, just skip this step, just make a single crochet, half double, double, half double, single. I'll make a single crochet, a half double crochet, and a double crochet and then chain 30 or 35 5 10 15 20 25 30 should be enough and um, I'll make a slip stitch in this double crochet that I made before the loop hanger 
and now a half a double crochet and a single crochet and then we'll continue with those groups of three single crochets just do not forget to skip two single crochets here between the points when you get to this thread also included in your work it will make the cleanup process easier at the end after this last two single crochets make a slip stitch in the first beginning chain that's it cut off the thread and uh, weave it in as to this thread here in the center pass uh, the needle in at least two directions to make sure that it is secure like this the crocheting part is finished now the snowflake is a little too wavy but it will change after it is touched if you are not sure how to make a starch solution on my channel i have a video on how to starch crocheted things watch it if you want to in order for the snowflake to have the correct shape i use this blocking pattern that can be found on the internet or just made these are several concentric circles divided in 12 equal parts after you starch the snowflake stretch it well in different directions and secure it with no rust pins this is it for today if you liked the video please push the like button and if you are not subscribed to the channel yet but would like to be informed of all the new developments, consider subscribing and pushing the bell button. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.